Hello, my name is George Hume, and I'll be walking you through the landscape workflow and tools that we develop for Project Pegasus. Before we get this series underway, I'd highly recommend that you first watch Ian's video on working with the Pegasus package to ensure that your Houdini environment is set up correctly and you have access to all the digital assets that you need. You'll need to make sure that you've gone to sideeffects.com forward slash Pegasus and downloaded the project files associated with this landscape series. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the folder, you'll find a Unreal folder and a Houdini folder contained within it. The Houdini folder contains the Houdini packages necessary to follow along with the course, but it's unnecessary to do anything with them if you followed along with Ian's video. Inside of the Unreal folder, there's a content folder, and you just need to copy that content folder into an existing Unreal project, and you should then have access to all the materials that you need to follow along. This series picks up directly where Ian left off with the landscape, so you'll want to make sure to watch his landscape tutorial series as well to get an idea of how he approached the sculpting and crafting of the initial terrain. And you'll also want to take a look at his cliff series, since the cliffs were an integral part of the final landscape. Similarly, it wouldn't have been possible to finish this terrain series without the trees created by Tillman, which were in turn made possible by tooling developed by FICA. It was the collaborative nature of Project Pegasus that made it special, so make sure that you don't miss any of it and check out the other artists' series on sideeffects.com forward slash Pegasus.